There he is. Monster. Come on, buddy, take that. Got him. Too easy. Do that to me, buddy. Uh uh, get out of there. Ah, gotta work him out, he's buried himself into the weed. We love doing this. Come on, you just gotta walk him out. Yep. You can go that way if you want. Oh, he's got a mate. Nuts. Okay, okay now we just gotta navigate this tree. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> He's still running the drag. This is why I love these carp. <coughs> cool to be doing this to an outfit like this, but big carp for a sport. You really need to rely on some quality gear, especially with the reel. There he is out there. <laughs> Which way is he going to go? No, he's going into the rocks. Back the pressure off. Oh. <laughs> well, I've got to get up here real quick. Yeah, still in play. Whew. That was epic. Oh, there's big carp everywhere here today. Look, just pointed and that spooked him. Whew. Started this battle up around that bend over there. I just seen him sucking mud. I just ran a little Berkeley curl tail across to him, dropped it down right beside him, then that old lift and drop. They seem to turn on that pretty well every time. That was my first attempt today. I did bring once again, I brought the two rods down. I was come down here wanting to catch some bass. See how green the water is today. But um I knew I wouldn't, I couldn't, like I've got this pretty well perfected now, I couldn't walk past these guys without having a crack at them. And uh, you know, like, most of them around that 10 pound mark, or bigger, this could even be bigger this fella. So I basically having just as much fun with these carp as what I am with the, uh, with the bass. I think what's really got me in is the, the way you've got to stalk them. Um, these are fish that just don't, you can't just walk up to, you've got to sneak right up to them. Now I've won the war, so where are we going to land him? Alright, going to have to work him over to this flat. And... Oh, hold him. It's a bit of a rush though, because I... I know if I just load it up on him, like it even looks like I got, I don't know if there's someone caught on that line or not, but I know if I just load it up on this fish, I, I would have just popped the, the hook. He 
So, so he's still, he's still, there's a lot left in him. This one's worthy of the fight today. And once again, the reeds out there in the middle, around that neck, up in that corner, around the bend there's where I've hooked the fish, so. Just feel that right here, the reel just runs, stops. There's no, see? We're just putting pressure on him. What I'm gonna do before he gets out too far is turn him. And that draws the energy out of him. Oh yeah, they're well worth the fight. They are true sport fish on uh, on a soft plastic. These little power baits, I mean, it's 20 in a packet. So, so it's, it's a power bait, a small hook, and a small sinker. There's, there's a few types of lures that work for them. I find the worms and the small curl tails are probably the best. But I mean, it's a cheap, cheap day out. And you do have to land them, so... It's one thing hooking them, you've still got to get them up on this bank. And as you can see, you don't want to give up. So I've got a little bit bigger drop shot hook in today. I've got a number two in. Normally I'll run a number four or even a number six on the carp. I'm just after that hook in the lip. I know there's going to be a few bass up here today. I didn't want to the gut hook any of the bass. You can see he just won't give up, will he? But I'm putting as much pressure as I can on. If I could drag him in, I would. And, uh, the worst bit too is I've... That's probably worked out a benefit. I've walked out of the car I meant to put my uh, shoes on and forgot. Down the paddock, realise I'm in socks and thongs. So I think we'll be going in for this fella. Come here, mate. Righto, you must be tired now. Yeah, there's definitely a knot in my line, or is it a bit of weed? It's just a bit of weed, but the whole time we were fighting the fish, I thought it was a knot. Now, okay, it's got a six pound V hard leader on today. Um, I've been using this leader for a couple of weeks, as you can see. So I'm only down to about a foot of it now. Um, it's just a really tough line. Right. Just gonna beach him. He's he's gone now, so it's just a matter of rolling him over like that. Get your fingers in there. Don't splash me. And see I crunch down, it might sound horrible, but I crunch down and I I actually kill him with the grab. But all these all these carp, they all go for fox food. So, but anyway, what a battle. How good was that? Oh. I wonder if I can walk past another carp. I'm desperate to catch a bass this afternoon. I have much more fun on the bass, but... These carp are hard to pass. As usual, that drop shot hook is just was just pinned into the jaw. The ones we use have like a little keeper bit on. And it's just did a power bait Berkeley curl tail. Um, and a tiny, tiny little sinker. And it's the same rig I use for uh, fishing the brim in the canals and drains around Sydney. There you have it. <coughs> One dead carp. Now I've got to go all the way back, leave this gear here. Oh, can't help it. <laughs>